What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Record Breaker Award to review and it's a player that's actually had a really nice upgrade if we're talking about his stats. He's had a plus 8 to his pace, a plus 10 to the dribbling, a plus 10 to the shooting, a plus 13 to the passing and a plus 9 to the physicals as well. So yeah, EA have done him quite nicely with a stat upgrade. But the thing is, Edward is a 6 foot 2 player. So he's going to give you that heading ability in that striker position. He also has got already high medium work rates, which is perfect. And then on top of that, he already has got a four star skill moves and a four star weak foot as well. Yes, we all would have liked maybe like a five star skill moves or even a five star weak foot, but it honestly does not matter. It is what it is at the end of the day. Four star, four star, we can easily deal with it. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, I have decided to go for the Hawk chem style. The reason I've decided to go for the Hawk chem style and not the Maestro chem style, which I know a lot of people will be looking towards as well, is because you're giving this guy so much with a Hawk chem style. Like you're giving this guy extra pace. So if this guy gets in behind, not many defenders are going to be able to catch up to him well on top of that you are giving this guy an incredible long shot ability with incredible shot power so you know he will be so much more clinical inside that box and even outside the box as well well on top of that he already has the finesse shot trait so yeah the finesse shots outside the box will be so much better with obviously 88 long shots and then off on top of that as well you are giving this guy 92 jumping so it's not 82 jumping. It's not like he will maybe win the headers time to time with the 82 jumping. No, the 92 jumping will allow him to win the header quite consistently. So I feel like you're giving this guy so much with a Hawk Chem style. So, so much. And obviously on top of that as well, you're giving this guy 97 strength, which is simply, simply ridiculous. So yeah, I definitely feel like the Hawk Chem style is the way to go. But if you want to go for the Maestro Chem style, go ahead and do it. If you don't trust in the reactions, then yeah, Maestro Chem style will be the way. It's just... Looking at the other dribbling stats, like 91 agility, 95 balance, 88 ball control, 90 dribbling with 92 composure, I feel like he's going to feel good on the ball. And I understand he's a six foot two player and all. It's just, I feel like he'll be twist and turning. I feel like maybe some areas you will notice reactions, right? It's just in most areas, you will notice how quick he is on that ball. And that is something I'm hoping for. And that's something that I'm expecting as well. Now, his passing ability. His passing ability is looking good, you know. He's looking like the average striker passing with his 86 short passing and his 87 vision. It's just the long passing being 66 tells me that I'm most likely going to keep it very, very simple. Now, the links. He's French. He also comes on Crystal Palace, which you get a strong link with. With your boy Wilfred Zahar. And I know a lot of you did this Wilfred Zahar card. So again, that strong link to Edward is always, always gonna be nice. And obviously, him having that French nationality, I don't really need to talk about how good that actually is in FIFA 22. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am gonna be playing Edward in one position and one position only. And it is gonna be that strike position in a 4-4-2 formation. So let's get into the games and let's see how good this Edward card is gonna be. Yeah, pass him. There you go. Edward, he's made a run in behind and I've gone for that through rule. It's perfect. Good ball roll as well. Nice little touches. This guy's not really coming towards you. I'm seeing what I could possibly do and Chesney ends up pulling off the save. Not bad dribbling. Not extremely agile it felt like, but not bad. And let's see. Maybe we can get a uh, goal here. That's actually decent. That's actually decent. Mm. Not a great of headers. Drew him past that. Maybe straight over to him. Good touch and turn. Go for a ball roll there. You see what I mean? Like, he's not feeling bad on the ball. I can, I feel like I can definitely notice some areas that the reactions is coming into play. But other than that, like that right there, the reactions came into play there. I could clearly tell. But you can tell there's like little touches that he's taking that is actually quite nice. Play that forward. Take a touch. Can I go for the instant acceleration for the gap? Yes, I can. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. You know what? He's not really marking me. I see that. I'm going to go for it, right? You have to go for it. You have to give it a go, especially with his long shots, especially with his shot power. Well, on top of that, having the finesse shot trait as well, you need to give it a go. But this time, we end up hitting the crossbar. I'm just going to give him the ball here. Maybe just go for a simple one, two. See if I can get him in behind. There you go. Keep it going. Use that pace. Oh, hold up. Who's this against? That's against the Licked as well. Beautiful ball roll. Can I get the driven pass? No. Can I get the goal? I'm going to keep shooting into it. Okay. We end up not getting the goal, but he done well, he done really well to get around the lick there. I want to see if Edward is actually going to make a run here. Does he make a run through that gap? He kind of sees it a little bit late, which is kind of disappointing. But we eventually get there, and it's a beautiful finish with that four-star weak foot. I'm just going to take a touch with him here. Hopefully, he can just shield off that player. There you go, man. That was actually against Ferran. I didn't actually notice that. He uses his strength really well. I think I've played this too late, right? Yeah, I've just played it too late. He's done well, though, to hold off Ferran there really well. Play that ball down. 
kind of want to go for a quick one too. See if I can maybe just get him in behind. That's a good turn. Good touch there as well. Go for it. That is not the finesse shot I was expecting. I was expecting like some next level finesse shot that's about to fly top bend. That ended up in the row Z. Like, what is that? Maybe go for one, two or not. I was actually, actually, yeah, there you go. There's the one, two. I was expecting. Oh, we couldn't get a finish there. I was expecting this guy to control the center back, push him out of position, but he just didn't do it. But Edward found a gap wide open. He's going to make a run down there. Yeah, he is. He sees where the gap is really well. We'll roll that into the middle. Maybe go for a fake shot there. I'm just going to go for the power shot. And look at that full finish. I've took like his majority of the shots on his Uyghur foot. And he's done really well with it. Make a run, Morris, or not. Play that. Maybe a first time fake shot. Good turn. Nice scoot turn. You see that little heavy touch there? No, we couldn't get the finish there as well. There was like a hesitation before he took that touch. That's the touch that I'm noticing I don't really like too much from him. But he does well to obviously create the angle to go for the shot. Kind of need a passing option. The cat is just sitting there by himself. And Edouard is trying to force himself to make a run in behind. But he eventually comes short, which is always going to be nice. Go for a few turns. Go for that fake shot there. Go for the finesse shot. He's wide open. Great animation. Can I flick this? No, I tried to flick it anyway. Can I go for a turn? You see what I mean? Like, you see those little tight touches that he's taking? Like, I'm telling you guys, he doesn't feel bad on the ball. Like, honestly, it's just these certain, certain angles that I feel like he takes a little bit too long to get into. Nakata, give me that option. Or not. Edward actually came short there. Shield it off. I like the fact that he can shield players off like this. You see the way he can get around players? Accelerate round for round as well, please. Come on, what a finish. Once again... It's Lloris. I don't know what review it was. I think we... I don't know. I think it was a previous review. I'm not sure who it was. But we chipped Lloris exactly in pretty much that position just on the other side. We'll roll into the inside there. Give that over to Nakata. Can I get a driven pass? I can. Edward with really nice positioning as well, man. Those touches. There you go. He actually recovers it. Nice fake shot. Use that pace. Pass it into the inside. Oh my. That nearly actually got all the way to Mbappe. Maybe a quick one too? Nah, this guy's smart. He pushed the defender back. Let me see if he actually pushes towards me here. Go for a fake shot. Or go for the over top. Scorpion. Did he just Rabona that? What was that? I mean, I'm, a, I'm expecting Edouard just to go for like a Scorpion or anything like that. This guy decides he wants to go for a Rabona. The keeper did kind of save it. It's just, it wasn't a strong enough hand. Wide open. Can I play that pass? Nah, I tried to play that first time as well. But well, it doesn't matter. We got it. Nice turns. Can I go for the power shot as well? Do you know what would have been nice there? The outside foot shot trait. If I could just take a simple extra touch there and use an outside foot shot trait, I reckon that actually would have flied in. But obviously, he hasn't got that shooting trait. Chip that into the middle. Nah, I should have chipped it, but Edward's actually won the header really nicely. Good touch. Great acceleration. Great use of strength as well. You see Mbappe there? He didn't really go for the cut, like the cut back in time. I needed him to go a little bit earlier to give me that passing option. Fake shot that. That's a beauty of a fake shot from Nakata. And this guy's left me wide open. And is that Ramsdale? What a save. Can I get a quick one too? There's a little gap there. There's not too big of a gap, but that is such a good pass, man. Wait for him to come towards me. He's doing well. Nice defense. Can I get the shot though? We can still get the shot. Fake him out a little bit. We obviously needed to go back a little bit just to get a bit more space. But we've done really well to create the angle. I'm just going to give that down. He's literally open. Good touches. A referee. Are you... Oh. How is that not a foul? Give that back into him. Hit him with a roulette. Hit him with a chip as well. Can we get the goal? Yes, we can. That should have been a foul. Like, what is that all about? I might just run here. Actually, I see Edward running down the line. I didn't actually expect him to come over. But look at the way he's got around Sule. But Sule is going to have that aggression to get around Edward and actually come out with a ball. That's actually disappointing, you know, because with his 97 strength with the Hawk Chem style, I thought he would have been actually to, like able to hold off Sule for a bit. But it just didn't happen. And that's an unreal tackle, isn't it? Wow, Kempembe. I'm just going to run down here. Edward's made a nice run, but I'm going to pass to Morris first and hope Edward maybe goes for a cut back there. His movement is like nice in the striker position. It isn't anything incredible. That is something I definitely am noticing. Like he definitely does make some weird, weird runs. Like that one right there, there was no need to make that run down. You know, he actually should have made that run up, but he eventually does it and we do well to create the angle and the shot power is there. It's just, I did mistime it. There's so many players in this guy's box right now. It looks like he's playing like a five at the back, but we do so well to turn him inside out there. It's just we couldn't get the finish. Just smack it into him. There you go. Go for a few R1 dribbles. 
Can I hit that all the way to the other side on a pass? I actually can, you know. Like, even though he's got, like, what, 66 long passing, he's still able to play a passer like that. That's a good run there, Kata. Pass that up. That's a good touch. Good scoop turn as well. My man apparently decides he wants to pull off saves today, man. Driven that straight to the striker. Eduardo, make that run up. There you go. I like I'm going to go down. Can I get the finish as well? We end up hitting the post. That was a very hard angle. I'm asking me. I should have probably done a little bit better with the angle there. It's just I still feel like with Edward's finishing ability, he should have made it go into the back of the net. But look at that for a finesse shot. Quick one, two, maybe. I reckon he's going to push slightly with Varane, but he hasn't really done it. Can I use that pace? Yes, I can. Look at the way he gets round him as well. He's moved the keeper. I knew it. I knew this guy was going to move the keeper. This guy's full on sweating, you know. He's full on going for it. But yeah, beautiful finish. Great pace to get around Varane as well. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing five games with Edouard. We actually scored nine goals, but we didn't come out with a single assist, which is kind of disappointing. But hey, we will take the nine goals in five games happily. His finishing ability was definitely top tier. Like there was a lot of angles, 100% I could have done better in. And we could have probably walked away with like 11 goals plus, let's say. It's just... I, was, I wanted to test out his shooting ability. Like, I wanted to see what kind of angles went in with this guy and what kind of angles didn't go in with this guy. And I can tell you right now, sometimes, yes, the accuracy was a little bit off. But the shot power, it was always, always there. This guy was hitting the ball with so much power. Left foot, right foot, it did not matter. And I also took a lot of shots on that left foot as well. So, yeah, the shooting ability, I would say, didn't really let me down. The pace... He was an extremely fast player. You guys saw it against Varane. You guys saw it against, I believe it was Kempembe as well. The way this guy was getting in behind, it was beautiful. And I would say that's one of the best things about this card, the pace. It's so, so good with that Hawk Kemp style. The passing ability wasn't really, like, much a talk. There's not really much to talk about with the passing, is there? Like, the short passing was solid. He didn't screw up a simple pass. It was spot on. It's just the long passing. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. I, I think I went for like two over top through balls. One didn't really work and the other one all went all the way to the other side perfectly. So I would honestly say to you guys, try to keep it as simple as possible. No need to overdo it. No need to overcomplicate it, let's say, and go for these uh, passes all, all the way to the other side. Just keep it very simple with him. The dribbling ability. There was a lot of occasions... That I liked, obviously, his dribbling ability. Like, you could tell I was pulling off skill moves with this guy. It came off very nicely as well. There was certain, like, touches that he was taking that was really nice. Allowed me to create an angle really quickly. It's just I definitely did notice the reactions time to time. It's not very often. It's just it all depends on what angles you are really turning at with this guy. Like, he isn't obviously a player that dribbles like, you know, a Dembele, a Neymar, or even an Mbappe. He definitely isn't. But he does feel good on the ball without a doubt. It's just you definitely do notice certain angles that he takes takes a touch a little bit too late or a little bit too slow let's say and then that's when the defender comes in and obviously puts in the tackle the physicals love the stamina love the strength the jumping ability top tier as well won the majority of his headers it's just the heading accuracy i feel like let me down i thought we could have came out with at least one goal with a header but we just didn't hey it is what it is now do i believe this card is worth the 130,000 coins he is currently going for 130k it's expensive, isn't it? It's very expensive. The thing is, right, when you can get a player like Hero Robbie Keane, which is simply unbelievable in this game, for 100k, I don't feel like it's really worth getting this Edward card for 130k. Like, for me, Robbie Keane fits my playstyle a little bit better with how, how agile he actually is on the ball with those tight little touches or tight little turns, sorry, let's say. For me, I, I would say this Edward card isn't worth it. 130k, I feel like, is slightly overpriced. I feel like the correct pricing for this card would be like 80 to 90k. That right there would be perfect. I feel like 130k, though, is pushing it, especially when you can get Robbie Keane for like 100k to 110k. I would rather get a Robbie Keane that's obviously tradable as well, rather than getting this Ed Wild card. So yeah, I do not believe he is worth 130k. Now, do I believe he is an S-tier card? No. Do I believe he is an A-tier card? A tier, we're looking at players like Ben Yedder. We're looking at players like Benzema as well. I do not believe so, but I definitely do believe this Ed Wild card fits straight into the B tier. Now, I hope you guys obviously did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.